Hello, my name is Sean Ellsworth from Ellsworth Marketing. Uh, you can find my blog at ellsworthmarketing.com. I also have a website, uh, 277websitedesign.com. If you, uh, this video is mainly for people who have gotten my $277 WordPress blog. Uh, but uh, hey, if you found me and you don't have a blog and you're, you're trying to learn how to do it, I can save you a lot of time by uh, creating your blog for you. I create up to five pages. Uh, I'll provide um, optimized content for those pages and uh, and I'm also providing training uh, so that you can continue to add posts and pages to your website. This is really really cool right here okay publish immediately is the default setting but you can change the date and time. Uh, why would this be useful? Well let's say that uh, that this is a new blog and you want to make it look like it's been around for a little while, which is a good idea. Uh, you know, you can go back a month, two months, six months, a year. You know, I wouldn't go any farther than that. You probably, you know, you hit the law of diminishing returns. But if you, if it looks like you've been blogging for a little while, it's probably a good thing. So if you have old newsletters from the past, um, you can input them here, change the date so that uh, it looks like it came out, you know, when it actually did. And then you hit OK, and p past posts will all post do -do 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 on, the, on the date that you say that it came out. Okay. Now, if you can return to the past, wouldn't it be cool if you could, you know, go to the future and, and like pre-post things? Well, actually, you can. All right. So let's say, you know, you sit down one Saturday and you, you're like, I'm going to knock out a dozen articles. And you do. You write a dozen articles. Now you've got them. And you don't want to have to remember to post them, you know, one a week or every couple days for the next month or two. So what you do is you come here and you you input it here with the title and uh, the copy, and then you change the date for when you want it to come out. Hit OK, and then what it does is it will, when we hit that day and time, bing, it automatically posts to your website. That's fantastic. So you can, you know, monthly sit down, write four, five, six, seven, eight articles, and set them to um, roll out throughout the month or throughout the quarter, and uh, and and then you're just kind of hands free for a little while. Um, pros and cons about this: great thing is that it doesn't take time. Uh, it doesn't take um, time every few days. That's the biggest problem with blogs: is you just we're all busy we are and we don't take the time that we should a couple times a week to do a little post and I'm I'm as guilty as the next guy okay so this is one way to solve that problem but the problem with that is you know do it set it and forget it that's the tendency you do forget and so you know your month is up your quarter is up you forget to sit down again and, and do another batch of articles um, and so that can be a problem. So it's it's a blessing or a curse. You're going to have to figure out um, how you're going to how you're going to manage this. Now, why do you want to have a bunch of posts? Well, if you have an active website, then Google pays more attention to you. Okay. If you if you set it up once and walk away and you never see it again for three four years, Google's like, well, you know, it was relevant four years ago. Sure. But it's not relevant now. They haven't added any information. They're not currently managing this site, um, and you will tend to lose your your rankings. Okay, so Google loves an active site that you're continually posting to, um, and that's as far as Google and the robots are concerned. For people, people want to know you care. They want to know that the information on your site is current, and the best way to tell them that is by having current posts. And then they can go back and view the old posts if they want to, but they know that there's a living, breathing person out there who cares and is managing the site. That's very important. And the other reason is that the more good educational and informational content you have on your website, the more you are um, received or viewed as an expert in your field. All right, so it's in your own best interest to continue to add information to your website. Uh, it builds your credibility, it builds trust, uh, it builds your authority in the industry. So these are all reasons why you're going to want to continue to make posts on your website. So this is a fantastic tool that uh, that you've gotten your hands on and now you can continue to build that uh, as as you go so fantastic all right when you're done 
Uh, two more things real quick. Uh, we have categories and we have tags. Categories are how you organize your site. For instance, uh, if this is a dental site, you can have one category that is uh, dental implants. You can have another category that's all about veneers. You can have another category that's all about crowns and bridges. You can have another category that's all about um, dental hygiene. Uh, have a category about whitening, okay? So every time you make a post, you come over here and you add a new category. All right, so let's go ahead and add one. Um, well, we're not going to add one because uh, it's a real estate site and our example is a dental site. But, you know, say we, um, this one's about implants, so you would say dental implants, bon, add new category, and it shows up here. And then all you have to do is click it like that, and it gets filed under dental implants. So if someone wants to read about dental implants, they click the dental implant button and boop, 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 all of the dental implant articles show up for them to read. All right, and then the last thing we have uh, before you post, uh, finish your post is tags. And this, these are keywords that you uh, have in your, in your page. So, you know, implants and um, dental, let's say you, say you talk about insurance and if they pay or not. Okay, so insurance could be a tag. Um, for any any post, you can have any number of tags that, let's say they read this, you know, they read about dental implants, dental implants, blah, 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 insurance will pay for X, Y, Z, um, and they're like, ooh, insurance, yeah, I hadn't thought about that, and they can click on the insurance tag at the bottom of your um, article, of your post, and up pops all of the words, all of the posts with the word insurance, uh, with the insurance tag in them. So it's another way to search, it's another way to index. Um, categories is for your bigger categories and tags are for just smaller kind of incidental keywords that you're using. Uh, you'll have a better idea of what keywords to use also after you get uh, your keyword list from me. So after that then you're gonna hit publish and it says your post is published. Let's take a look at it. View post. Okay, this entry was posted in uncategorized, so this is where your category would show up. Okay, and if you had any tags, we didn't end up putting a tag in there, but if you had any tags, uh, it would be clickable right here. Okay. And uh, if you need any information, my name is Sean Ellsworth. My website is ellsworthmarketing.com, and if you don't have one of my WordPress uh, websites, you can get one for $277 at 277websitedesign.com. Uh, customers, you will be getting another uh, video in a couple days. Uh, but anyways, if you have any questions, give me an email. All right, take care, everybody, and we'll uh, see you in a few days. Bye.